Our mission at Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools is to continue to focus on what matters most. We are committed to our student success. We know these times are uncertain and we have teams working tirelessly to ensure that we are ready. Safety is our top priority and strong instruction is going to be paramount. We want you to know that we have a team of instructional leaders ensuring that we have high quality instructional courses to support all modalities of learning and ensure access for all students. We believe your child deserves the best. The CMS way guarantees your child will have access to consistent, engaging instructional experiences in every subject area, whether in person or virtual. Your child will also have access to the technology needed for learning to happen. Our mission has never changed. Each student will engage in high quality instruction by certified teachers with standards aligned instructional materials. Our goal is that your child will graduate from CMS college and career ready. Your child will have access to both live and self-paced learning through a classroom teacher and online Canvas courses. Included in these Canvas courses are instructional videos, self-paced learning opportunities, and live instruction with a certified teacher. Now let's jump into Canvas for a quick tour of the first grade literacy course. We're going to take you through how a lesson is structured so you can get a better feel for what your child will experience. For the first lesson in Module 1, we begin by sharing the family letter for the first unit. The family letter is shared at the start of each new unit. The family letter is available in both English and Spanish. For each lesson, we start with a getting ready page so that students and parents can quickly see any instructional materials needed to complete the lesson for that day. We also note whether the materials are optional or required to complete the lesson. For the younger grades, students will mostly use their student workbook to complete the tasks for the module lessons. We wanted to make navigation simple for students, so we are using the Next button as the way students navigate through the course. Here is the first part of the module lesson. It is housed in a virtual classroom. I am going to show you a couple clips from this first lesson. We make sure to state the learning target for each lesson in the video so they know the goal for their learning that day. Let's get started with our first lesson. Today's learning target is I can show what I know about tools through drawing and writing. For this lesson, I virtually co-taught with Amanda Acoth, an English learner specialist. The first clip I am going to show you is the language dive she did to help students break down an important sentence in the mission letter that sets the purpose for the first module of EL Education, Tools and Work. As we create this content, we are being very intentional about creating access for all learners. We are collaborating with the English Learner Services, Exceptional Children, and Advanced Studies Departments. Okay, let's take a look at the clip. We're going to come back to those pictures in just a moment. But first, I want to introduce you to a special friend of mine. Her name is Mrs. Acoth. Welcome, Mrs. Acoth. Thank you, Mrs. Aerosmith. Hi class, let's dive into this sentence for today. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to create an object that is needed for our classroom. Can you read that with me, please? Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to create an object that is needed for our classroom. Awesome. What do you think that sentence means? Let's look at the words, your mission. Whose mission is the letter talking about? That's right, it's our mission. It's the whole class's mission. As mentioned, we have experts designing specialized instructional resources 
and support so that every student has access to high quality instruction. These resources will be available for teachers to assign to students or use during small group instruction. For example, in the video you just watched, co-teachers were exploring a language dive with students. As a collaborative team, we have customized instruction for all learners so that it is seamless and fluid. The next clip I'm going to show you is of a read aloud called The Magic Bow. Since these lessons are pre-recorded, we are finding creative ways to make the lessons as engaging and interactive as possible for young learners. Following this read aloud, the video stops to allow students to answer two comprehension questions about the story they just heard. Now let's move on. Next, I'm going to read you a story. Along with our important missions, we need to also be thinking about how we are doing with our learning. This story is called The Magic Bow. When I finish reading the story, I'm going to ask you to answer some questions. So listen carefully. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman who owned a magical bow. We'll save the rest of the story for another time. In the previous video, students read the story, The Magic Bow. Some students may need a more supported text to engage with. Our team engineered this text to hold on to the complexity while embedding supports for learners to access the grade level content. The text is chunked, larger font was used, and key vocabulary is called out with visual supports. We also added questions throughout the text to prompt students to think critically about each section of the text. There are a variety of resources for various learners. These resources transition into the instructional courses so that students, regardless of needs, have access to the same learning experience. Now let's take a look at the comprehension questions that go with the read aloud. Since this course is for first grade students, all directions and questions are recorded so students can listen to them read aloud. After completing these comprehension questions, students will move on to the second part of the module lesson. After watching part two of the lesson, students are directed to hit the next button to go on to their student workbook page for the day. Students will complete their student workbook page and can reference the videos if needed. It is important for K2 students to use the workbook pages so they are practicing writing with paper and pencil. Once students have completed the workbook page, the assignment in Canvas asks them to submit a picture of their work. Using their iPad, students can take and upload a picture to the course, which their teacher will then be able to review and give the student feedback on. Teachers can give feedback face-to-face -face or by recording a message for students in Canvas. Once students have successfully submitted their assignment, they will see this image to let them know they have completed the module lesson for this day. We also have the skills block lesson for students to engage in. This could happen during a different time in the instructional day or students can move on to this lesson by hitting the next button. Again, this lesson starts with the Getting Ready page to let students and parents know what materials are needed for this lesson. We are recording the whole group grade level skills block lesson for students to watch. You'll notice the virtual classroom has changed and now we have some flexible seating and a bookshelf to give students the sense of being in a virtual skills block environment. Let's watch a portion of this lesson. Hi, and welcome to Skills Block. My name is Mrs. Aerosmith. Today, we will do our first Skills Block lesson. Here's our learning targets for the next part of our lesson. I can explore the rhythm and rhyme in the poem, Open a Book, Unlock a Door. 
I can listen to a sentence and pick out the two words that rhyme. I can listen to one syllable words and identify the vowel sound in them. I can listen to one syllable words and tell if the vowel sound is short or long. Listen carefully to the first line of the poem again. Read that line with me. Ready? Let's go. I want an adventure, new lands to explore. So I open a book to unlock a door. What rhyming words do we hear? That's right. Explore and door. What makes these two words rhyming words? They have the same sound at the end. They both end with the sound or. Let's say the words together. Explore, door. Good job. After the skills block lesson, students see the mission accomplished page to let them know that they are done for the day with their literacy lessons. Teachers can add differentiated Canvas assignments to specific groups of students by microphase for students to complete after watching the whole group skills block lesson. Throughout the lesson, there are multiple opportunities for teachers to engage with your child and provide feedback. For example, in this first grade lesson, teachers will give students feedback on the comprehension questions from the read aloud as well as their student workbook page. Throughout each day, students will experience a combination of self-paced instruction and live instruction with a highly qualified teacher. Thanks for taking a virtual tour of the first grade literacy course with me. We are ready to see you and your child on August 17th.